Hello everyone, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. They will fit you with all your hockey needs. They are located right across the street from Wilson Park. Opposite of that is, um, I believe, an Amstar gas station. <laughs> it's either Amstar or Mobile. But today was game two of the Central Division Finals. Uh, the Milwaukee Admirals took out the Grand Rapids Griffins. Um, and at this point, I will turn it over to Michael. All right. Shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshot Grand Rapids 11 to 6. In the second period, Grand Rapids outshot Milwaukee 12 to 8. In the third period, Grand Rapids outshot Milwaukee 11 to 7. And in total, Grand Rapids outshoots Milwaukee 29 26. On the power play, Grand Rapids goes one for five with 20 minutes, six infractions, while Milwaukee goes one for four with 12 minutes, six infractions. Scoring in the first period at the 439 mark for the Admirals was Igor Afanasyev scoring his first of the postseason, assisted by Yuso Parson in his seventh and Kevin Graval his third. Then at the 1245 mark on the power play, Fedor Svechkov scores his third of the postseason, assisted by Ozzy Weisblatt, his fourth, and Joachim Kemmel, his third. Then scoring at the 15-21 mark was who else but Zach LaRue, his seventh, with an assist from Jasper Weatherby. That was scored short-handed. Five-hole, might I add. Uh, then in the third mark, Del Geizo gets his third at the 327 mark with an assist from Cal O'Reilly and Joachim Kemmel. Cal O'Reilly's first in the postseason, while Joachim Kemmel's fourth. Then Carter Mazur gets his third on the power play with an assist from Austin Zardik and Brogdon Rafferty. <coughs> that was at the 1534 mark. That was on the power play. And then at the 1650 mark, Dominic Schein scores while they have an empty net. So it was six on five. Um, his second with an assist from Tanner Hirose, his second, and Zach Austin Reach, his first. And then at the 1901 mark on the empty net was Jasper Weatherby, empty net, with an assist from Zach LaRue. LaRue has two points and has seven goals in ten shots in five, in his last five games. Yeah. That this man's just playing on another level. Now I know that he got a unsportsmanlike conduct penalty for chirping um Sebastian Cosa um after scoring on him on the shorthand five hole. Um I'm not going to repeat what I think was said. <laughs> Um, but uh, um, in net for Grant Rapids was Sebastian Cosa. He stopped 21 to 25 while in net for the Admirals. It was the return of Yaroslav Skarov. He stopped 27 of 29. Um, the last two goals on him, I, I don't really think they were his fault. He was screened very well. Uh, very good set plays by Grand Rapids. Um, I, I think Nat or Nashville. <laughs> I got Nashville on the brain today for some reason. Um, Milwaukee looked a little bit gassed at that point. Um, they really came in and fed off of our energy. But um, and we had a great crowd tonight. Uh, four thousand six hundred and twelve, which is higher than the last one. Um, last game was 3,500, so much better. Um, they had a little more time to sell tickets. Um, 
But yeah, like I said, uh, the three stars of the game, third star of the game was Kevin, Kevin Graval with an assist. First star was Igor Afanasiev with a goal. And first star was Yaroslav Askarov with 27 saves on 29 shots. The Admirals, uh, quote unquote, high energy player of the game was Joachim Kebel. He had um, plus one with two assists. Um, Zach LaRue had two goals, on, or a goal and an assist on two shots. He had a plus two. Uh, for them, uh, they're all, they had no plus, none. Everybody else was even or minus. Um, your referees were Cody Beach and Brody Sutter. Uh, lines, linesmen were Justin Johnson and Dan Kovalchuk. Um, the next game is Wednesday in Grand Rapids at 6 o'clock Central Time, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard. So we will see everyone then um john you got anything you want to add to this game i thought they came out a lot better played a lot better as a team in this one than in the first game i don't think they played bad in the first game i just think they got a little sloppy yeah and 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 sometimes when you get a little sloppy, plus plus having a guy like Roland McEwen back, that is so you know. Yeah. Uh, Liam Foody took a puck to the chest, went back, came back. He did. He looked fine. Um, looked good. Um, Foody, Foody is just glutton for punishment this year. Oh, I'll get claimed off waivers, get sent to the AHL, get hit in the face of the puck with a puck in the first game. Come back, go on a tear, get hit in the a le a leg, break, hurt that, come back and take one to the chest two games in. You know, like this man just, he he will take the punishment to win. Yeah. And that's, I, 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 I really, really respect that about him. Um... Another guy who's, like we've said all along, LaRue has played a lot, very, very well this playoffs. Yeah. Um, Goaltending, we we don't have much to complain about. <laughs> um, um, But like I said, just got to be a little cleaner on that PK um, towards the end of the game, clean that up a little bit. And I don't see why we can't take at least one in Grand Rapids. Yeah. So um, I could see this going five. I could see it going, the, us taking both. I could see them taking both. Um, I hope they don't. I, um, I still want a little revenge against the Coachella Firebirds, or as I like to call them, the Sriracha Fire Chickens. And yeah, I don't care. Your fans can hate me all you want. <laughs> We remember what happened last year. Don't think we for, we forgot. Um, so the Admiral's intro is coming to fruition. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, um, to be honest, um, very good game, good crowd. Um, home ice is so important, that last change of... You know, they got a little bit of a timeout there uh, after the second goal that they gave up within a minute. And I, I really think that, like, Seth, you know, they were riding high. And I, I think they felt like they had it in the bag and they backed off a little bit. Yeah. And, and Grand Rapids wasn't ready to be done yet. So, um, it's an even series. Um. Looking at it around the league, there were no other games. Um, in the NHL, I believe there was only one game today. And I believe that game is final. Edmonton eliminates Vancouver. Three to two. Um, Florida and 
the Rangers, and Edmonton and the Stars. Who you got for out of Edmonton and Dallas? Uh, probably Dallas. I, I would say Dallas, too. I think that Dallas is... Um, and then as far as Florida and the Rangers, not to anybody. I expect that to go to seven. I'll be disappointed if it doesn't go to seven. Agreed. I'd, I'd fully agree with that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the Dallas series is probably going to go five or six, but I'm not sure I see it going to seven. Agreed. After after Edmonton, it's all going to depend on if if McDavid goes nuts and and they get it. I can see Edmonton, but it all depends on how it plays out. You know, I think whoever wins Game One, they win the series. That's my opinion. Um, nine out of ten, most times, uh, the teams that win Game One in the Eastern Conference Finals normally move on. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how these shake out. Um, uh, most, if not all, of these teams have not been here in a long time. Yeah. The Rangers since 2013. Oh, by the way, wanted to add something in. The Admirals have not beaten Grand Rapids since 2006 in the postseason. Yeah. Um, Zach LaRue is on a five-game goal streak, which is, I believe, the second longest in Admirals playoff history. I would have to look into that, but I believe that is what I read correctly. Yeah. Um, but I mean, and that's that Florida Rangers one. That one's gonna be a hard one. Um, I think it's gonna come down to whose goalies show up. Is Shostak a cup winner? Is you know, um, and, and I'm I'm not gonna discredit this, but I think honestly, my opinion that Dallas-New York would be a very good series. Yeah. Now, would I like to see Edmonton in there? Yeah, because I want Eki to win. I want Ekholm to get something. You know, he's a former Admiral. He's a former Brad. Um, not that I want Corey Perry or Evander Kane to win anything, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, you know, Thinking about it from that perspective, um, I believe left in so Rasmus is Paul and uh, the former Buffalo Saber slash friend that was a friend for like two weeks. Uh, Matt Benning is also on the Florida team, and Magnus Halford. Mm -hmm. So you know I'm going for Florida on that one. Um, and for the Rangers, Jimmy VC, Fred's former prospect. He didn't sign with us, of course, but we all know, uh, or as we all know, um. And then you have Shostarkin and Jonathan Quick um, over there with the Rangers. Um, with the Stars, uh, the former Pred is Matt Duchesne. Um, and the, uh, I believe Edmonton does have a former Admiral. I just can't remember. Like I said, Echo. There we go. Um, but nonetheless, um, like I said, we're back Wednesday. Thank you all for watching. From Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. We will, like I said, we'll be back Wednesday. 
you know, the longer this goes, the less time I have to study for the draft. <laughs> so thank you for putting it off because we all know I would. <laughs> so later.